What's going on, everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass, and today we're going to be going over faster shipping for Shopify. How to get it, what you need to optimize for. So we're going to go over all that today. So make sure you stay to the end of the video here, as shipping is such a crucial part of your e-commerce experience. Customers don't want to wait to get their items. They're used to fast shipping options because of services such as Amazon. Almost every Prime customer gets two-day Prime shipping, and a lot of times that's even faster. And that's two days from they ordered it, so that's going to include all the steps there to get it to the customer's door. And for many customers, rather than waiting for something online, they might simply go to a physical retail location and pick it up there. You wanna make sure that you're optimizing your shipping to be fast for your Shopify store. And we're gonna go over how to do that today. Before I dive into it, I just wanna thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's gonna come with a 15-day free trial, so you can test drive everything out for yourself. And there's a link in the description below and this app is going to let you skip the spreadsheets and get back to growing your store. I'm going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. So let's dive into faster shipping for Shopify now. And so first let's go over the overall steps as these are the steps that you can optimize if you're fulfilling the orders for yourself. So if you really need to break down the customer experience, it's gonna go down into the following sequence. The first one is that the customer is gonna order their product. This is gonna be through your Shopify store. So you're gonna receive that in your Shopify dashboard. And from there, it could be automatically or manually the order is going to be sent to the warehouse. So this can include the customer's shipping information, what products they ordered, and the shipping option they selected. Once it's received by your warehouse, your warehouse is going to go pick and pack that order. So that's taking it off the shelves, packaging it in the proper packaging, and getting it organized to be sent to the carrier. So once it's sent to the carrier, this could be USPS, FedEx, UPS, any shipping option that you use. The carrier is then going to ship this directly to the customer through whatever option you select based on the pricing. And then the customer is going to receive the package in a few days or a few weeks time. Overall, if you did break this down into each step here, in terms of the optimization you can do on your end, if you are fulfilling your own orders, is we need to make sure that it goes to the warehouse quickly. You want to make sure that's done in an efficient manner. So the warehouse has time to pick and pack to get it sent out as quickly as possible. You're also gonna make sure that the warehouse is delivering the items to the carrier quickly as well. So making sure they're picking and packing effectively and they're not really taking their time there. The last one could be your shipping carrier options. You wanna make sure that you're using the right carrier at the right price for the right timing. Now this can take a lot of work here to figure out what's the best option for the best price as there are many different carriers out there. And it's gonna be even more foreign if the order is international you're not really sure which carrier to provide there and which one to use. And so if you don't have a huge warehouse, you're not fulfilling orders in a timely manner yourself, let's go to the really easy solution here that is going to cost a little bit more, but it's going to make your shipping faster really quickly here. They're going to do a ton of other features as this is what they specialize in is fulfillment of products. So for most Shopify stores, this is going to be a really good alternative to fulfilling the orders yourself. This can even be if you're a drop shipper, you can move to a 3PL by purchasing inventory of the product. And so this is going to be the option of a 3PL and that's a third party logistics center. This really solves all the problems mentioned before that can be optimized. And they're going to handle all these steps for you from warehousing to inventory stocking and management to picking and packing to finding the best carrier at the best price. And they're also going to handle other things such as returns. Rather than having the return sent directly to you, you can ship it to the 3PL or the customer can ship it to the 3PL, making that process easier as it's probably going to be located a little closer to where the customer is located because a lot of these 3PLs have tons of fulfillment centers around the world. So examples include Amazon FBA, Shopify Fulfillment, and ShipBob. Take a look at Shopify Fulfillment here. It's going to make it really easy to do two-day deliveries. So matching what we talked about earlier with Amazon's two-day shipping, it's going to offer simple pricing and it's a predictable price that's going to cover inventory management, delivery, and free storage for items sold within six months and no upfront costs. It's also going to allow for smooth returns and letting you reclaim your time. This is an end-to-end -end fulfillment solution with inventory management, product storage, and easy delivery options. So we can see here there's different rates based on how many items are shipped and how much the item weighs. It's really going to let you act as a large retailer as you can have really fast shipping times 
and really organized shipping processes. Another one of these 3PLs that is quite large is ShipBob here. They have over 7,000 brands that use their service and they have 30 fulfillment centers across six countries. And they have a direct Shopify integration, so it's gonna make it really easy to connect, import your products, then send them to your inventory. They're also gonna store their, your inventory in any combination of their fulfillment centers. And as soon as a customer places an order, they're gonna ship it from the nearest fulfillment center allowing for really fast shipping times. As we can see here with two-day shipping, over 95% of the two-day shipping was on time in the US from even just one fulfillment center. You can also use their fulfillment centers globally as I have some in the US. Europe, Australia, and Canada. So those are two examples of 3PLs here. They're really just gonna optimize that process. The thing about 3PLs though is it's gonna be an increased cost to your shipping as they're gonna do other things such as warehousing, inventory management. So this brings us to the cost aspect. Some of them are gonna be flat priced. Other ones are gonna charge based on the different services. And so typically when they look at costs for these 3PLs, there's gonna be warehousing costs, there's gonna be storage space, staff and inventory software. There's also gonna be packaging costs. So packaging, dunnage, printing, and inserts. So these are all things that go into the packaging of the order. There's also gonna be the cost of the shipping. So what shipping provider they're gonna use. And depending on what the add-ons you get, some of them have insurance or branded boxes as well. There's also inserts that can be added for extra depending on the 3PL. And so with the increase in cost, although you're gonna get the trade-off of really fast shipping times, easy order fulfillment is gonna take that off your hands here so you can focus on marketing your Shopify store. Some general tips would be just to price your shipping and your products correctly. You wanna make sure that you have enough margin now to cover the 3PL to get faster shipping times. You can do this several ways. You can charge more for shipping or if you have a free shipping option, you can make sure that your products have enough margin. It's been shown that customers would rather have free shipping and higher priced products than lower priced products than having to pay for shipping. So it's up to you how you can figure that one there. The other general tip would just be to ensure that orders are sent quickly to the 3PL. Most 3PLs that are built for e-commerce have integrations directly with the Shopify that's gonna either be available on the Shopify app store or if they have their own integration, making it really easy to send orders from your Shopify store once they've been placed to the 3PL. We just wanna ensure that those orders are sent quickly as it's gonna mean faster shipping times. So overall, this concludes the video on faster shipping for Shopify. I hope you enjoyed the video here. If you did, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below as that really helps the channel out. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Or if you have any recommendations for 3PL for other Shopify merchants, I'd love to hear those below as well. Lastly, I want to mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc, again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It comes with a 15-day free trial, and there's a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.